I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have a special collaboration to do. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Marianne over at the Frugal Chef channel. If you don't know her, you're going to love her. And I want you to go over her channel and hit that subscribe button because you're going to love everything that she does. She does some really awesome cooking of all kinds, all sorts of international cooking, American cooking. She's just really awesome and I love her. I've been following her forever. I am doing a home style pad thai and this has rice noodles and chicken and shrimp and tofu and you name it and boy I can't wait for you to give this a try because this stuff tastes just like it came from the restaurant only it didn't cost the, like the restaurant does. So let's go see how we make this home style pad thai. All right, we're gonna go over all of the ingredients for our home style pad thai. This is so easy and you're probably gonna be surprised at how easy it actually is. This is a collaboration between myself and Marianne over at the Frugal Chef channel, but she contacted me and invited me to do a collab with her and I am very excited to be doing that. But let's dive in. The first thing you need for a great pad thai is some noodles. So what I have here, and these are some rice noodles. And this is one 14 ounce package of rice noodles that I purchased at the Asian market. And these are also referred to as rice sticks. They come dry and you have to soak them in hot water. You can just use hot tap water and they have to be soaked for 10 minutes and drained. They will finish, they're, they're a little rubbery still and they don't look like they're cooked all the way because they're not because they're gonna finish cooking uh, when we make the pad thai. So you have to do that. Today we're doing a chicken and shrimp homestyle pad thai. So I have about a pound of chicken breast that I have sliced very, very thin. And I have about a pound or so of fresh local caught shrimp, deveined and peeled. I'm also gonna be using two cups of cubed extra firm or what the package said was super firm tofu. We're gonna be using about a cup of chopped green onion, a half a cup of chopped cilantro, a half a cup of sliced shallots, and here I have a tablespoon each of chopped garlic, chopped, I'm sorry, ginger paste and lemongrass paste. We're also gonna be using about a quarter of a cup of palm sugar. We also have about two cups of mung bean sprouts and some chopped peanuts that are gonna go both inside and sprinkled on top of our pad thai. Our sauce is going to consist of a quarter of a cup of sweet chili sauce, a quarter of a cup, of fish sauce, a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, quarter of a cup of rice wine vinegar, and we're also gonna be using a quarter cup of water, super important, of this concentrated cooking tamarind. It has a flavor all its own and peanut oil. Now what we're gonna do before we move over to the stove is we're gonna mix our sauce together. So we're just gonna mix all of these things. There goes our rice wine vinegar, our fish sauce, soy sauce and sweet chili sauce. Put our palm sugar in there as well. You wanna give this a good stir and you're gonna to wanna to let this sit and allow that palm sugar to completely dissolve. You don't wanna use this until that palm sugar is all dissolved in there. Um, now we're gonna move over to the stove and we are going to build our pad thai. It's gonna go fast and it's gonna be delicious. So let's go see how we make this. All right, we're gonna get started making our pad thai and this is gonna go a lot quicker than you might think. Uh, I have about a tablespoon of peanut oil heating in the bottom of my large stainless steel skillet. If you have a wok and the ability to get your wok super hot, I recommend that you use that. Now this is gonna splatter and it's gonna spit, but that's what you want it to do. I'm gonna put my tofu in and we're gonna get this nice and toasty. And when that happens, we'll come back and we'll show you what happens next. All right, our tofu is nice and toasty and warm through. And now I'm just gonna remove it from the pan so I can leave the excess oil in the pan and not pull it out because we're gonna use that next and we're going to cook off our chicken. Now that oil is still super hot. And we're gonna throw our chicken in here and we're gonna get that cooked off. And we'll be back as soon as that's done. All 
right, our chicken is all done, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add our shrimp in. Whoopsie. I'm just gonna stir it real good. But at the same time that I add the shrimp, I'm also gonna add the scallop, the shallots, the green onion, and all of these wonderful flavorizers. That would be the ginger, the lemongrass paste, and the garlic. That all goes in. our cilantro in here as well. The bean sprouts. Give it another stir. And while I was ex showing you the ingredients, I neglected to put a couple of, of eggs out on there and we are going to be putting eggs in here as well. Now, this is where the magic starts to happen. We're going to grab our noodles and our sauce. Give it a good stir and make sure all of that sugar has gotten broken up in there. So pour your sauce over. Okay. Now, just get everything in there. Stir it up, get it really well incorporated. I'm gonna toss our tofu back in here. Just like that. Oops. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, before we put the egg in there, is I'm gonna go ahead and needs to be a tablespoon of tamarind. Go ahead and add that in there. Give it a good stir and get it all incorporated. Okay, so what you want to do now is you don't want to put a lid on this, but you do want to let this cook and you want those noodles to cook in that sauce and you want it to evaporate a little and reduce down so that it coats the noodles and the noodles are not sloppy because you want this to be coating everything. You don't want it to be um, like a big puddle on your plate. So we're gonna come back in just a moment and we're gonna do up our eggs. All right, our noodles are ready and everything is almost done. And you can see there's like no liquid in the bottom of the pan. Everything has been absorbed or coated what's in the pan. So what we wanna do now is we wanna put some oil right there, not a lot, maybe a teaspoon. Get it good and hot. I know this looks crazy, but then you wanna put your eggs in here and you wanna get them cooked. And if they get mixed in with something, if you do this for two people and you have a big pan, then it'll be great. But you know, in Shunarine fashion, I have a pan that's not big enough, so. It's all good. But what you wanna do is you just wanna wait till those eggs are set and they're gonna sizzle. And as soon as that happens, I'll be back. Okay, you just wanna stir your eggs up, break them up until you essentially have scrambled eggs in the pan here, and then we're gonna fold it all in. See, it's cooking pretty quick here. And like I said, don't worry, because you're gonna mix this in anyway, so. When it gets to be kind of like that, then let's just mix it right on in so you get a little bit of egg in there. It's gonna make it even creamier. And you're gonna get, you don't want giant chunks of egg, that's for sure. You want this to just be very subtle and mixed in there. Only one more thing is our chopped peanuts 
course, you can leave those out if you choose. Give this a stir. I'm gonna turn off my heat. It smells incredible in my kitchen. And I am so ready to enjoy this for dinner. So, we'll meet you back over at the counter and we'll serve you a plate of this home-style pad thai. All right, there is our home-style pad thai with chicken, tofu, and local caught shrimp. What you wanna do, if it's your preference, is you can garnish with some extra chopped peanuts, a little extra cilantro, and if you really want, you can put some Thai chili powder on here. I do have some, but I don't think anybody's gonna want it. So that's up to you. You can also dress it with some more sweet chili sauce if you like, but this is really delicious. Oh yeah, and you want a few extra bean sprouts for freshness and crunch because it's delicious. Are you ready to give this a try? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, noodle, chicken, hello, bean sprout. So you gotta get a little bit of everything in your bite. Shrimp. There you go. What do you think? That's really good. Does it taste like the restaurant? Son of a gun. Mm -hmm. That's, really good. That's delicious. Oh my gosh. Now in doing my research for Pad Thai, I learned a lot of things. Pad Thai is what you want to make it. And there are as many versions of Pad Thai as Thai cooks who make Pad Thai. There, are, there can be a lot of variations, but there are a few constants. And those constants include fish sauce, and the palm sugar. There's a perfect balance of flavors here. It's just delicious. The rice noodles are, I think, a really great thing to have in your pantry. They're super easy to make. Just hot tap water and then you throw them in the pan and done. You can make your pad thai however you like. Just make sure you use the fish sauce. I promise you, you gotta use it. Um, and then the other constants that I saw when I was doing my research were definitely chopped peanuts, cilantro, bean sprouts, and they all had tofu, whether they had meat in them or whether they were a vegetarian virgin. So that's up to you. So I just really think this is delicious. I can't wait for you to go see Marianne's video and I know that hers is gonna be just as delicious as mine because Marianne is awesome. So please make sure that you go and check out Marianne over at the Frugal Chef channel. I know that she'll love to see you and I know that you're gonna love what she's making today along with my pad thai. So I'll leave a link down below and I'll leave a little clip here on the screen for you to see what she is doing over there. I wanna thank you for joining me today so you could watch how I made my homestyle pad thai with chicken, shrimp, and tofu. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please be sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes more often, right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this homestyle pad thai a try. You definitely won't be disappointed and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. All right, my pan was nice and hot and these are ready to flip over. And that is the crust that you're looking for right there. Just like that. Now that one, that one's gonna be the problem child, but that's okay, we can flip it over later. These uh, cast iron skillets, if you're not familiar with using one, a lot of times they will have a dead spot in them where it doesn't get as hot as